Welcome back. Today we are going to be adding some furniture to our nice little shed design. So you can see in the previous uh, six videos, we have constructed a shed. We've got a gable roof. We've got some doors on there. It's got a 10 inch floor. Um, we've got some trees and some grass. We've even added a path uh, that leads to nowhere, which is nice. So from here, we're going to actually add some furniture inside of our shed. So depending on what your shed is used for, uh, that's going to influence what kind of furniture you choose. But in any case, uh, you can kind of poke around in the furniture menus and pick stuff that's appropriate for your design. So what we're going to do is click on the architecture tab. Make sure you have your floor plan open. And then click up here where it says component. And then we're going to load a family. So we we're in our planting menu. We're going to go out of that. We want to be in the US folder up here. And then we're just going to select, uh, there's a couple different places you can find it. So you've got furniture, that's going to have beds, seating, um, so different types of chairs, couches, stools. So if these, if you're making more of like a recreational type of shed, maybe you're going to choose that. Um, we've also got different tables, desks. So poke around, try to find something that's appropriate for yours. Storage, got different uh, cabinets. Let's see if there's anything that would work for like a utility shed. So got a credenza. Looking for more of like a workbench potentially. So let's go back, load family. We want to see if there wasn't really anything in furniture that seemed great. Let's check out furniture system. So that looks like just brackets and stuff. Work surfaces, maybe? A cubicle. Has some benches or like um, work surfaces, like a table sort of thing. Standing desks. Mm, still not great. But. Is it still good? You're getting to see some of these different things that are available. Um, what I'm thinking is I might need to look under. Oh, where is it? Casework. Casework can have like cabinets and shelving. So let's take a look in there. Maybe I'll add some of those. For my utility shed. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of cabinets. There you've got some countertops. These are great for kitchens, bathrooms, shelving. Okay, we've got some taller cabinets. I'm just going to add some maybe cabinet shelves where we can put tools and things. So I'll just put that. Uh, Kind of near the back here, maybe. Put a couple of those. Let's see what else we can find. Let's see if System Families has anything. Nope. Curtain wall panels, detail items. Go back to furniture. Can we add anything from here? Got some garbage cans. Let's add, let's add some tables. We'll just add some of these rectangular tables or like a workbench. 
I had two of them kind of by the wall. And then we'll add some stools. So I think there were some stools under seating. Let's see if we can find this. And don't want that stool. I want that stool. Okay, we'll put a couple maybe in front of our benches. And that looks pretty good. So we go back to our 3D view. Oh, I want to get out of this. So let's click the modify button. Now I'm not placing stools anymore. And I can hide this roof. So if I go down here and I just temporarily hide it, now I can actually sort of see inside of my shed, which is kind of nice. We zoom in. Let's try to zoom in a little closer. And then if I just sort of move this cube, you can see inside of my utility shed, I've got some nice tables, some stools, and then I've even got some shelving for myself where I can put tools and things. Okay, so that's furniture. Uh, play around with it. Again, there's a ton of options available. Um, and there's even more options. We'll talk about that later in the year where you can download stuff from the internet and insert it into your files beyond all the stuff that's available under load families. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.